welcome back welcome back welcome back it's a new video and today we are going to unpack my groceries with me and as you can see we're starting with the bear of bourgeois <laughs> so on this day i went grocery shopping and i decided to get myself myself a six pack of bourgeoisia I'm not usually a fan of Bulgravia, but I felt like something fizzy and cold, but not as strong as Savannah. I'm usually a girl for the salves. So here we are packing away the bourgeois so it gets nice and cold. Then I found this old jar with some butternut soup in it. It was like cold winter day, so I had left with a butternut soup and I just threw it into that jar. So what I do when I pack my groceries is I usually unpack the old stuff from the previous month, whatever's left over. I unpack that so that the new stuff can go on the bottom and I use the old stuff first, you see, so that everything is used timelessly. Yeah, well. So I'm just doing that right now and I'm packing in the new stuff, some bacon, sausages, I had a bit of minced chicken i'm gonna try that i've never cooked minced chicken but i was like actually that's a good idea and some chicken wings and normal mince and i'm just gonna put the cheese aside because i live alone i go through cheese quite slowly so that so to avoid it molding on me i'll cut it up into smaller pieces and i'll just take out what i need as and when i need it so that's why I put the cheese aside so that I can portion it out correctly. And look at me balancing my ice tray on the fridge. <laughs> it's such a blessing to actually be able to buy groceries every month and fill up your fridge. Like some of us really take it for granted, but we really should thank God for being able to do this. And don't mind the pick and pay plastics, they just like, oh, more bourgeois, that's a cocktail sachet that I bought, I wanted to try it out. And M&M's, because like, you can't go grocery shopping and not buy yourself treats. So I wanted to try out that M&M caramel stuff. Stocked up fridge, leads for a happy life and here i am just chopping up the cheese so i'll take it out drink some juice you know i'm parched grocery shopping is a lot of work <laughs> and chop up the cheese and i'll put it back in the same packet because like why try and find another packet and it will just break off easily and then i'm filling up my ice tray with some water and of course, putting a Bulgravia in the fridge for later needs to be ice, ice cold, baby. And then I needed to take out the trash and I was using that plastic bag as a liner because I'd run out of swing bin liners, but thank God grocery day came right on time. And I'm filling up my coffee. I drink Jacob's. It's not as good as filter but you know what it does the job if you don't have a coffee machine and one day we'll get there guys do you see how resourceful i have to be with space like living in a bachelor and having a tiny space you really have to stay organized and i am freaking on it like i pat myself on the back on how i've organized this kitchen and soon soon i need to do a video on like my tiny apartment and how i make different spaces work because i think i've cracked the code you know and i've got little like tricks and tips on how to just manage things and tomato sauce all gold south african staple let's get on with this grocery unpacking and let me stop ranting <laughs> So I'm going to unpack everything that doesn't live in the fridge. I bought some flour, some pasta, and I bought super cute containers from Pep Home that you're going to see shortly in this video of me organizing some dry goods in those containers. I've wanted those containers for a while 
and they're not on display unfortunately they do have to go into the cupboard because i don't have enough space but i was like hey let me buy them anyway even though they're not like in a nice pantry but one day they will be one day they really will be and i got some bicarbonate of soda some master ball spice this bicarbonate of soda was like 20 rand for 500 grams and i thought that was cheap and like bicarbonate of soda has so many uses so so many uses so i was like why not buy it you can use it for cleaning and also brightening your teeth i've been using it for that lately and here i am washing out a mayonnaise jar because i'm going to use it for the bicarbonate of soda you'll see shortly and of course cleaning out the containers i got from pep home because we need to disinfect them i mean they were in the store and in the factory before that so i'm washing them with some water i don't know if y'all do this but i always mix my dishwashing liquid with domestos thick bleach i just feel like it cleans and disinfects and you know some extra germ fighting goodness is never a bad thing and because i have one sink another battle of living in this bachelor <laughs> i have to put a tray uh just to put like wet dishes and here i am soaking this jar so that i can get rid of the label i seriously use jars for everything do you see that big jar on the side i use that to drink water every morning that's how much water I aim every morning to drink before I leave the house and this little jar is gonna be used for leftovers like soup I might use it to drink juice out of like I like drinking out of jars it just I don't know it feels different you know it's cute I like that for me so I'm just cleaning everything up here soaking this cloth because it's done a lot of work today and I'm just going to wait for these jars to dry out before I put stuff in them. I think I had already, I was done, sorry. <laughs> I had already waited. So I'm going to put macaroni. I don't know why I have two packs of macaroni open and both half. I don't understand. Why didn't I just finish the one packet? What is wrong with me? <laughs> anyway and then here i am packing the bicarbonate of soda into the mayonnaise jar i'm not even bothered like i think this mayonnaise jar will do the job so i'm not buying a special jar for this anytime soon and then i was just hoping here that it would fit and there would be no leftover and it did fit hooray hip hip hooray but what I realized is that the jar wasn't completely dry and it looks awful. So I might have to like decant and redo it, this in a few weeks time. Not anytime soon. I don't have the energy. But I will have to redo it because I, I hate how it looks right now. With some of that bicarbonate sticking to the side. And I had to double check before I did the flour because I didn't want that jar to do the same. And the flour one was dry and it almost spilled over there was a lot of flour compared to the size of the jar but you know what it worked and it looks so pretty i'm so satisfied and these jars if you're wondering were i think 26 rand each or 29 rand each at pep home but they weren't more than 30 rand each and here are my jars all nicely organized thank you so much for watching this video you guys don't forget to like comment and subscribe love you loads see you next time